so I have another iPhone X here and um, I'm still hoping to um, disassemble the logic boards uh, you know split them in half or whatever but I still haven't gotten haven't gotten one yet well I do have one here actually but so I'm waiting for a waiting for my fixture my new fixture to arrive because the one that I have currently is not good anyways um, so I have another boot looping iPhone X here let's see if this is gonna boot loop for me again I kinda of figured out what the problem was already but let's see if you guys let's see if I can replicate it help if I plug the battery in alright Apple logo it's gonna boot up now watch So this is the second slight yeah this is gonna boot up now. Anyways, this is the second second slightly water damaged iPhone X that I got and the problem is the same. <laughs> um Let me show you under a microscope. So as you can see it is water damaged. Um this is the side of the screen. And before I disassembled everything, it would just show the Apple logo cut off, show the Apple logo cut off, and stuff like that. And uh, if the battery's discharged, it would it would charge. It would pull about a, over an amp on the ammeter. And and uh, I've already created one of these videos, but it seems like water is getting in here for some reason. And it's this little vibration motor connector that that is causing the issue, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's the culprit. Anyways, let me disassemble this. So you can barely even see it, but if you kind of drill in really close, you see a little bit of water damage there. And so it seems like this is probably the, which is not bad. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're gonna have water damage and and uh, you had to pick one place for it to, for it to enter, <laughs> this is probably not the worst place for it to enter because the screen is actually still pretty good. And the only thing that is really needed is a little bit of cleaning of this and then you're back in business again but this is going to cause a little bit of grief for um, iPhone owners who don't know how to disassemble their disassemble their um, the logic board so I mean that that's pretty much all it was that 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 caused this issue um, I was going to stick another charge board on it but even that is not necessary so So I'm just going to clean the actual vibration motor here a little bit. There's just like a little bit. Of, I mean, there's like literally like a little bit. But so that's really it. And then I'm going to reassemble it and everything will be good. So it's a good idea to get find a housing out there, a donor housing that you can use to test these things. And then there's really nothing else to it. Uh these these things aren't super hard to disassemble. Um but I suspect that after I put this back it's probably not gonna be as waterproof anymore. Which is not great. Anyways, that's that's all it really is, and then there's like I think maybe six or seven screws that kind of hold everything else together. So I think it's like well, put this little cat back there, and then you put everything else back, and then you're back in business really. Um, just make sure you put this little antenna back. Okay. Uh, I know this is super, super exciting. Watching me reassemble an iPhone X. One of these days, I'm gonna find a shorter, or actually the right screwdriver. This is a this is a tri tri wing. 
Anyways, it seems to be seems to do a pretty good job of keeping keeping water out of these things. Uh and yeah, so the only <laughs> the only hole really is this this charge port. So I I can see why Apple wants to get, is is go you know they're leaning towards getting rid of the the um, charge the um, charge port. So at some point, it's just gonna be straight wireless, and then there'll be no more holes. But until then, it's not gonna be fully waterproof, unfortunately. Am I blocking everything? Pretty much. It's not that exciting. So, anyways, um, you know what? I haven't even started it up yet. I, need, I should probably make sure that it works before I put this back. Otherwise, I'm gonna. All right, last screw, and then I will test it. Because I may have to replace the charge board, but I don't think I do. Okay, so I guess this is probably going to be the issue here. Um, okay, let's let's test it real quick. All right, make sure it boots up. So all I did was really just clean clean that little connector. Okay, so that's it. We're back in business. Mm. Alright, we're back in business, so... <laughs> that was it. Uh, anyways, second iPhone... Second iPhone 10 that I've had that uh, boot looped, and the problem was that little... It was the charge port at the bottom of it, so... I don't know, if you... If you're if you have a little bit of water damage, uh phone come in, uh that's most likely gonna be the problem. Alright, thanks for watching.